Other news too, RT's lost contact with correspondent Graham Phillips, who has apparently uh, has disappeared now in East Ukraine, along with a journalist for the country's Anna News Channel. Moscow's now demanded that both journalists be released immediately. The details from Marina Galushka. We haven't heard anything from Graham Phillips since 11 p.m. on Tuesday. However, there is strong suspicion coming from one of the journalists, from a fellow journalist at the Anna News Channel, that both journalists have been apprehended by Ukraine's security services. Our last contact was at 11 p.m. local time. Four people, including Graham, a reporter and two other men, went missing around Donetsk airport. We have information they're being held captive by the Ukrainian security service. That's according to anti-government forces. We can't verify this at the moment. Now, Kiev denies detaining the journalists or that they ever did. However, in May, Graham was detained by uh, security services of Ukraine for alleged espionage links. He was questioned for about 36 hours and released. On Tuesday evening, he has informed RT that he was planning to uh, go to the area of Donetsk airport. Now, we have warned him that it's extremely dangerous that was the scene of some of the most intense fighting over the past several days nevertheless Graham said that he's going to go uh, he sent a text message overnight saying that he has arrived there shortly and that was the last that anybody has ever heard from him at RT however we did speak to one person uh, one journalist who has asked that he remains uh, unnamed who was with Graham when they were heading to the airport we all went to the airport together some 250 meters away we turned back because we emerged from the trees into an area of open space, like a field. We felt we could be easy targets, so we decided to go back to where we left our car. We warned Graham it could be dangerous, but he and another reporter still decided to proceed. They crossed that field several times. I think they could have been ambushed. When we were back at our car, we called Graham's phone, but another guy answered. Apparently it was that other reporter. He talked very quietly. We asked him where Graham was. He said he was surrounded by the Ukrainian army and that they've got Graham. He asked us to get him out of there. Moscow has demanded that both journalists be released immediately. The country's uh, foreign ministry has released an official statement saying that this is a provocation which exemplifies the attitude of Kiev officials towards independent international journalists who are providing the kind of information that official Kiev finds undesirable. At the same time, RT has also contacted UK's foreign office who are saying that they are keeping a close eye on the situation are standing by, ready to provide consular assistance when needed. To give you an idea of the bigger picture about reporting there and what people are up against, it's only this month that Ukraine was labelled the world's most dangerous country for journalists to work in. An International News Safety Institute report looked at various conflict hit nations during the first six months of this year, and this is what they found. War torn Ukraine tops the list with seven international journalists killed during the fighting. Uh, not far behind that, Iraq, still also very much a danger zone, maybe no surprise there. Six reporters killed there since the start of the year. Uh, five have died in Syria, which has been racked, of course, by years of ongoing civil war now. And Pakistan also on the list, too. Five journalists dead there, victims of the unrest in the country. Well, in neighbouring Afghanistan, four media workers have died since January.